Hello, hello there, neighborinos. Don't have too much on the docket today. First things first, though, just on the off chance that you pre ordered the Oculus Quest, which arrives here in about 10 days or 9, depending on when you're watching this video. And you thought that you wouldn't have any suitable products to play on this new system? Well, here I have for you a list of about 50 new games and stuff that are going to come as launch software for this thing. The entire list is about 53 items. However, the biggest titles that, that pop off the list right off the bat include Angry Birds VR, Beat Saber, Creed, Electronauts, Fruit Ninja VR, I Expect You to Die, Job Simulator, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, Moss, PokerStars VR, Rec Room, Rush, Super Hot VR, The Exorcist, Thumper, Vader Immortal, and of course uh, VR Chat. So there's 20 right off the bat that have amazing reviews so far. That all of which are going to come as launch titles for the Oculus Quest when it comes out in. 10 days on Tuesday the 21st for $400 so keep at it the next big story of the night is that there isn't really a whole lot of hard proof that Xbox is going to get into the whole virtual reality scene the biggest news that we have as far as that goes is the words that Phil Spencer gave us at the last E3 2018 when he hinted that Xbox and PC were going to merge into sort of a single market and on top of that they don't really know a whole lot as far as marketing or cost effectiveness or anything along those lines yet however over the course of the last year, we've seen quite a bit of productivity and profitability with the PlayStation VR, as well as the other big name players in the virtual reality market, HTC, Oculus, and now Valve is jumping into it. So what does that mean? Obviously, they are seeing the, they are seeing that the option is there. And I'm not sure if you have seen it, if, if you have seen it yet, but Sony did file a patent earlier this month, or not this month, but last month, that would indicate that they are in fact working on a, a new PlayStation VR headset. Although the current generation is going to be compatible with the PlayStation 5, there are there is also paperwork that would indicate that they are also working on the next generation of headsets that would be wireless. What does that mean? There will likely be a headset available for the upcoming Xbox. While we can't really expect anything like that to be a launch hardware, one thing one thing we do know for certain, or at least suspect, is that it will come to the next Xbox.